Ann Makovic joins us now with details on the new partnership between the city and the state. And yeah, guys, this is all hands on deck. Not only the National Guard, but also the California Highway Patrol. The governor is ordering them to identify all personnel and resources that can be used to help battle this problem. We've been reporting on it for years, and it's only gotten worse. People are dying on the streets almost daily in downtown San Francisco. There was a more than 40 percent jump in overdose deaths from January through March of this year alone. Alone. The governor's plan forms a new joint operation between the city, the state, and the National Guard. It is focused on dismantling fentanyl trafficking and disrupting the supply chain by holding the operators of large scale drug operations accountable. The governor says the goal is not to criminalize people struggling with substance use. San Francisco's police chief says this is not a takeover. We're not talking about a military state. The National Guard goes into many places and helps out. Um, and we will use them in a way that's effective, that is consistent with the values of this city. They will help us do what we need to do. We make arrests day in and day out, but it's really hard to hold ground. And we need to get it under control. And that's exactly what we plan to do. We also want to be able to cut off the source of how these drugs, how this fentanyl that is killing people in alarming numbers is even getting to our neighborhoods and our communities in the first place. And so this is, this is definitely something that's going to help make a difference. An example of how bad the problem is this week, the SFPD served search warrants in Oakland and confiscated 10 pounds of fentanyl. That has the potential to kill 2,270,000 people. Calling in the National Guard and the CHP comes just days after Governor Newsom made a visit to the Tenderloin, a blogger and community activist. They're capturing this video of Newsom heading to a meeting with the Attorney General. He asked the governor what he's doing about the fentanyl crisis, and the governor responded, that's what he was here to find out. So let's be really clear. You're not going to be seeing armed National Guard soldiers patrolling the streets of the Tenderloin, but we could be seeing more of a CHP presence in the area. Exactly what this all looks like and the timeline still being worked out.